My guest today is Piotr Pachawa, the tenor who will be singing the role of Gustavo, Gustav III of Sweden, in our production of A Masked Ball. Piotr, welcome back. Thank you very much. You were last here with us, I want to say, four seasons yeah, ago? Yeah, four seasons ago. In La Boheme, yes. which we all remember <laughs> so well. It was so beautiful. It was fantastic and it's, production. It's marvelous to have you come back. So in four years, what have you been doing? <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, of course, I, I just, uh, in the last four years, uh, I keep my basic repertoire, of course. I didn't make big jumps uh, mm -hmm. left, right. Uh, Anything in new in that, in, the, in those four Not years? Not particularly. Ballo is new, actually. But Ballo I did around the same time uh -huh. when I was close after, ba after uh, to be here in San Diego. So, it's... And, and I think you told me you've done three productions now. This is the mm -hmm. third production yes. of, of Balo yeah. that you're doing. Do you love this role? I love it. Tell me about it. You know, everybody's saying that Balo, uh, particularly my, my role, Gustavo or Ricardo, is, uh, is close to the dramatic uh, part of the tenor's repertory. And I not agree with that because uh, the character is... Uh, the music is strong, of course. It's for somebody who has voice. You can't uh, yeah, to yeah. make some. Uh, you can't lie uh, yeah, vocally. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think uh, it's really uh, the character of Gustavo is very shiny. It's very positive. It's, it's a good guy. You know, in, in, in one of the points that I've been making with our audiences, trying to bring mm -hmm. audiences in to see the piece from the music. You can tell that this guy is young, he's intelligent, he's full very, of life. Very positive. Right. He's, yeah. he's everything what he's doing. Of course, it's, uh, some some uh, crazy circumstances like the uh, wrong uh, woman uh, who loved, wrong, <laughs> loved the wrong woman. Uh, but, you know, and basically it's really... Uh, a touching story and uh, of course it's I go it's, uh, at the end I will die but uh, anyway it's uh, don't tell us the ending everybody <laughs> knows everybody knows uh, but you know I'm very lucky to be here in San Diego in this particular production because it's my first ballo and I can sing really in great costumes mm -hmm. and, and you know in, in quasi traditional uh, production and it's something very rare today. so can I ask you an earlier production of Balo yeah. that you did was not traditional no. and, and very strange? No tradition at all. Uh. I mean, the first one uh, that I did, it was in Berlin. Uh, and Gustavo, it was more Ricardo than Gustavo, uh, was J.F. Kennedy. Oh. And, uh, oh, yeah, it was assassination. Yeah, assassination. Yeah, yeah, very, very... Pfft. Yeah. You know, but... It was not so bad, mm -hmm. but I mean, it was not exactly the story. It was yeah. some adaptation, and uh, right. and the second production in Zurich was even far away from from original uh, story of uh, of Verdi. It was really playing uh, uh, in uh, theater, in in uh, play of uh, of Gustavo the third in his uh, castle uh, because he loves uh, uh, yeah he, know, he wrote theatric, theatrical, theatrical he wrote stuff. plays yes. himself and, and he acted in yes. plays and himself. it was yeah. actually a play ah. it was actually a play the whole story was uh, playing for him with him hmm. uh, and it's and I didn't die <laughs> you didn't die no. it was a play <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah that's fascinating um, it, it must, and that must be kind of frustrating for a singer to, you know, to work so hard on the music, and then to have the music not really be respected. But, you know, today singers uh, have to take really a huge compromise mm. between what they expect and what they got on the stage yeah. when in when they work with the directors, uh, with conductors, and it's really a strange, strange world now, yeah. and that's. Better, it's for me fantastic opportunity to, to come here and doing 
Really bottled. Yeah. Well, we're going to dress you right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, I want to take um, just a little bit of a pause so that our audience can hear an excerpt from Balo mm -hmm. from one of your recordings, mm -hmm. because I want them to hear the voice that they're going to hear in the theater. Well, it was seven years ago. Yeah, no, that's okay. I'm sure it's. I'm <laughs> sure it's one even more wonderful today. It's better. Yeah, of course, of course. Let's listen just for a moment. So besides um, Ricardo slash Gustavo, um, other Verdi's I know you've uh, you've done Alfredo. Yes, and Duke and Rigoletto. And the Duke and Rigoletto. Yes. Right now, those are the three, and those the, and those really are the more lyric. You know, roles you, you in, can't in actually this. say in the Verdi world the, the the words lyric because all Verdi roles, also the, the light Verdi roles like Alfredo, has uh, some dramatic aspects and. Sure. Uh, uh, but it's not as many as an hotel or no, of course uh, not. Of, of, <laughs> that, that's dramatic stuff. Yeah, it's very yeah. dramatic. But Verdi yeah. starts actually on in in some adult lyric. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not Memorino. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, anymore. Exactly. And uh, it is really some something very interesting that Verdi put in all his roles, tenor roles, uh, a part of development to his last big masterpiece, I mean last masterpiece where Tenor is the main mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. uh, for Alacotello. And also Gustavo, uh, Duke, uh, Forte del Vestino and all these uh, roles, a small piece of those roles you can find by Otello. Uh -huh. It's very interesting uh, because when I, when, I, when I sing it, when I prepare it, I, I, I really feel the moments, mm -hmm. the end of, of, of the opera, the dying moment mm -hmm. is very it's almost like hotel. Also, the sound when you have to create yeah, is yeah. very, very, you know, adult or seriously. And that's uh, true. Reminds me very Otello. I've never really thought about that, but that that is true. It's almost like uh, Dio mi potevi. Exactly. You know, you, at, you, you at need the, the same the same kind of color, of color and tension in the voice. And yeah, uh, it's very, very similar. So I guess that's to say. All of Verdi is challenging, yes. no matter what you approach. That's true. What may be next for you in Verdi? I'm really thinking about now because, of course, my my, my schedule is far in the future. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm created now maybe six, seventeen, eighteen, mm -hmm. nineteen season. Wow! And uh, the next Verdi will be probably Trovatore or Don Carlos, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not very big friend of Don Carlos. Of I love the opera, but mm -hmm. the role of Don Carlos is really, uh, that's an example of masterpiece of composing by Verdi, because the weakness of the character you can find also in, in the music, yeah, and exactly. I'm not, I don't like it too much. Well, that's true, I mean, um, the Duke, for instance, in Rigoletto, is supposed to be a slimy yeah, kind of, you know, but, but it's strong and man. So, so all, yeah, but so all that music is, yeah, yes, is like very that, potent. is like that, yeah, yes. <laughs> you know. Um, and Don Carlos is very weak, very, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's really, 
that shows really the master uh, quality of yeah. Verdi's well, composing. Verdi is so good yeah. at characterizing yeah. someone through yes. pure musical means. Yes. Yes. I was just talking to our baritone, Aris yes. Argiris, yesterday about the very first scene in Rigoletto. Before I knew the, the, the opera very well, when I heard it, I thought to myself, that's such tacky music, it's such awful mm -hmm. music, it's so... Um, pa, um, pa, um, yeah, okay. well, it's supposed to be. Yes. <laughs> he said, and we find yeah. Verdi saying, it's got to be ugly. Yes. The Duke's... Yeah. Uh, his, his it's not a deep area character, is... and the music also not very deep at the beginning. No. You know? The couple no. of minutes of, of, of the second act where, where Duke is really a serious person, uh, honest person, is just four minutes. Yeah. And uh, the rest of the music is, is beautiful, it's is great lines, but it's not really deep. But it, it characterizes the yes, Duke. absolutely. Because he's rather shallow. It's actually in the, in the, in the, the basic characterization of Verdi music in the character of, of roles, what he presents at the beginning of the opera, is uh, he's pointing the, the, the character. The Duke, in the first three minutes, you know exactly which character yeah. he is. And who Gust he's going to be. Gustavo is coming yeah. on the stage, he's very, uh, you know, it's really like a king, and the, the, the music is very, you know, present and very, very, uh, you know, um, precisely and, yeah. and, and shiny. Mm -hmm. And Otello, the first entrance, Esultato, yeah. uh, everybody knows who is that, yeah, and, yeah. you know. He's uh, the boss. He's the boss. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That really shows the, the genial, it's, the it's, genius. It's in, brilliant. In I've... Do you think this is a good opera for someone to see the first time? Yes, absolutely. Of course, it's a little bit complicated. The story, everybody joking about how complicated Trovatore or the, or, or uh, Ballo in Mascara is. But the good staging director, who is really trying to tame the story, can manage this yeah. curve you know, in the part, story. It's really... Uh, musically, though, you think it's a, a very is, approachable, is, I think. Absolutely. Huh? Look, you have... Every every character in in this opera has fantastic music to sing. Even the small uh, uh, yeah, roles, yeah. like you know, Oscar has beautiful two beautiful lines. arias, it's fantastic yeah. music. Yeah. Amelia, very you know, touching music. Ulrika, everybody. It's really you you ca you don't have to uh, realize every word. You know what it means. You you can really hear with your heart, mm -hmm. and that's really really mm -hmm. a fantastic example to to co uh, come to the opera like uh, you know, for the first time. Speaking of heart, my favorite duet, I think, in all Verdi yes, is, this, right. is this love duet. Yes, it of course. is absolutely it's, gorgeous. It's a masterpiece. It's, uh, the lines are just yeah, so yes. beautiful. When she says, hey Ben, you know, yeah. she finally says, yeah. I love you. I just want to. I melt. It is such yes, great stuff. Yes, yes. It must feel just as a human and being. And it's fantastic written. Yeah. The voice. Yeah. By yeah. the way. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. can show everything. It's in the right place. It's absolutely yeah. in the right place. You know, it's it's that's also a characterization of of Verdi's music. He was absolutely right about which lines in which uh, part of the voice mm -hmm. are the most interesting expressions. Which in part would shine? Yes. Yeah. And that was yeah, a little bit opposite of Wagner. But uh, uh, <laughs> but it's another story. But yeah. Verdi was really absolutely um, perfection in this mm -hmm. case. So glad to have you back. I know you're just here from the Metropolitan Opera, yes. where you did Rusalka, The Prince, which you see me I, laughing, and it was I love the same thing. You know, I, I, this was also my my fourth Rusalka, and it was actually the first time when I did it in normal production. When I really? look at like a prince and, and <laughs> it, everything around. They gave you a crown. Not no, really, but no uh, crown. No crown this time. But it, you know, just visually, it was yeah. just uh, it's beautiful. A, it's a gorgeous production. It's a fantastic, production. beautiful. And yeah. it's, uh, I hope they save it for, for the future. Because and, it's, and singing with Rene Fleming. Oh, it was wonderful. As the cast was fantastic. And Rene, you know, I'm very fortunate because uh, I did Rene's uh, last Traviata mm, in that's Zurich. Right. That's right. The last performance of Traviata was with me. And now also probably her rest, la last last uh, uh, Rusalka. But still yeah. beautiful, still oh, fresh, wonderful. just no, gorgeous. That's, that's yeah. really great, great yeah. artist. Well, thank you for coming. I'm, I'm so glad you're back. And I, I know our audience and I can't wait to see Ballo. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> 